Hello, today let's solve this problem. This integral is equal to Catalan's constant. It was originally posted by Michael Penn, and I put a link under this video. The popular way to solve it is to use a Verstra substitution and convert it to a double integral, and then make a power series expansion. But in this video, I will use a different method to solve it. And let's get started. So first, we write the sin x into this form. And then we plug in to replace it. The number 2 cancel out. And then we take the factor i out of the integral. And next, we introduce this red term on both numerator and denominator. For the denominator, we distribute this red term to simplify it. And then we write it into this way. So here we switch the denominator, and then we put the negative sign in front. And next, we put the numerator in front. So we want to make a power series expansion for this term. But the problem is, we cannot do that right now. Recall the power series for this function. And we know for this power series, it's convergent when the absolute value of z is less than 1. But if we look at this blue term, the modulus of this blue term equals to 1, so it's outside the radius of convergence. That's why we cannot do the power expansion right now. So we have to apply some tricks. Here we introduce a parameter t, and we require t is between 0 and 1. So for the original integral, it equals to the limit when t approaches to 1 from the negative side. After we introduce this parameter t, now the modulus of this product is less than 1. Now we are safe to do the power series expansion for this term. After we do the series expansion, we got here. And note here, because this series is uniformly convergent, so we can interchange the sum and the integral. After we switch the order for the sum and the integral, we got here. And then we expand the power n term, so we got here. I copy them here. Because this integral is respect to x, so we can take this red term out of the integral. And then for these two blue terms, we can group them together. So we got here. Now let's calculate this integral. Recall the result for this indefinite integral. And here we set a equals to i times 2n plus 1. After plugging A, we got here. And then we just evaluate at the lower and upper limit. So we got this result for this integral. And then we plug in to replace it. I copy them here. And next, we will calculate the limit. But note here. This limit is outside the sum, but Abel's theorem guarantees we can interchange the limit and the sum. After switch the order we got here, and then we just evaluate the limit term by term, and we know all these right terms equal to 1 after we evaluate the limit. So we got here. And then we put this negative i inside the sum. And we got here. And next, we split it into three parts. The red term is the real part, and the two blue terms are the imaginary part. And recall this capital I is defined by this integral. I copy it here. For left-hand side, this integral gives real numbers, so the imaginary part is 0. So we put this trivial term here. And then we let the real part equals to the real part, and the imaginary part equals to the imaginary part. 
for this red series is equals to the Catalan's constant. So we are done for this red equation. And then let's look at this blue equation. So first, we write it into this way. And recall the Maclaurin series for the arctangent function. If we set x equal to 1, then we got here. And we know the arctangent 1 is pi over 4. So we plug in pi over 4 to replace it. And we got this result. So we got a byproduct from this blue equation. And don't forget to subscribe my channel and give a like. That's all for today, and thank you for watching.